Hello, I am Dr. Sneha Varki from Department of Pediatrics, Christian Medical College, Valor. Today, I would like to talk about a condition called cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis or CF is a rare genetic condition. It is fairly common in people of European origin, affecting about 1 in 3,000 persons. But it is su supposed to be rare or even non-existent in India. But now we have reason to believe that there are a number of children affected with cystic fibrosis in India. Very often, this condition is not diagnosed or treated early, resulting in deaths in infancy or early childhood. Due to the rarity of the condition, often misdiagnosis as TB or asthma or diarrheal illnesses happens. At CMC, we care for these children with the help of a multidisciplinary team consisting of pediatric doctors in different specialties like respiratory medicine, uh, gastro, gastroenterology, endocrinology, and intensive care. In addition, we have a team of well-trained physio and respiratory therapists, dietitians, and CF nurses who train and supervise the parents in the care of these children. Our work here, Cystic Fibrosis India Project, is in collaboration with the uh, Department of Pulmonary Medicine, Nationwide Children's Hospital, Columbus, Ohio, and is supported by a grant from CF Foundation USA for the period 2018 to 2021. We will be uploading a few videos which will help parents to learn about the condition cystic fibrosis and help them to care for the children in providing chest treatments, good nutrition, and pancreatic enzyme replacement to their children. Hi, I'm Dr. Grace Paul, a pediatric pulmonologist at Nationwide Children's Hospital, Columbus, Ohio. I take care of children with cystic fibrosis and I'm passionate about care for CF among the developing world. I work with Dr. Sneha Varki at CMC Velour and I'm part of the multidisciplinary cystic fibrosis team. Our project is now funded by the CF Foundation of the United States and they have helped us establish this CF Center and have provided us with resources to facilitate this project. CF, as you know, is a chronic inherited disease that affects the lung, intestines and multiple organ systems and as it is progressive, if left untreated, it could result in significant morbidity and mortality even in infants. The our, the goals of our project are to focus on education and uh, spreading awareness of CF. CF is currently thought to be a very rare or sometimes even a non-existent disease in India. And so we are proactively venturing out to teach physicians, ancillary staff, community doctors, um, medical students, and, um, and, and the patients and families about CF. Um, we are also focusing on improving diagnosis directly by improving awareness, increasing referrals, promoting aquagenic wrinkling, and also offering services for sweat chloride testing and mutation analysis at CNC Velour. Our, um, based on our preliminary data, we feel that the number of CF cases is much higher than what was previously thought to be, and CF may not be as rare a disease as previously considered. Uh, another goal of our project is to create cost-effective treatment protocols. Um, CF care is generally expensive and it would be important to create protocols using indigenous resources so that um, patient care can be sustained uh, and uh, be available for many uh, patients. The hard work and initiatives of our CF team were put to test during the pandemic and we are, the dedication and participation and commitment of the parents and families enabled us to succeed even during this pandemic. Um, we are also grateful for our multiple uh, partners and collaborators um, within, um, for CF care within India and from around the world as we all share the same dedication and uh, enthusiasm to improve CF care among uh, countries where resources may be lacking. Our goal is to create a brighter future for our children with CF. Thank you. I am Mr. Hari Pratap Reddy, CF Respiratory Therapist, CMC Velo. 
As you can see, two lungs where right lung divides into upper lobe, middle lobe, lower lobe and left lung divides into upper lobe, lower lobe. This session will help you understand why child needs to be placed in different positions for chest physiotherapy. The breathing tubes carry oxygen to all parts of the lung and remember the same tubes drain secretions out of the lungs. Secretions from all lobes need to reach the central large airways to be coughed out. This diagram shows how the main breathing tubes divide into right and left branches and further divide into smaller and smaller tubes to supply upper lobe, middle lobe and lower lobe. Each of these tubes are connected in different angles and levels to reach the main airway. In this session, I will be showing how to place the child in different positions to drain each part or lobe of the lung. I will be showing placement of hands for chest physiotherapy and postural drainage positions for children. Upper part of chest, right and left. Upper lobe, back. Make child to sit and keep two pillows on the lap. Ask child to stretch arms on the pillows by slightly bending forward. Clap on both shoulders simultaneously with both hands or with single hand. Upper lobe front. Make child to lie on the bed facing up by placing one pillow under the head and one pillow under the knees. Clap on upper portion of the chest below the collar bone and above the nipple simultaneously with both hands or with single hand. Middle part of the chest, left and right. Middle portion of left, front. Make child to lie on the bed facing upwards by placing a pillow on the left side and one or two pillows under the legs for elevation. Clap over the nipple region slightly away from the center. Middle lobe right. Front side, likewise the left side, clap over the right nipple region slightly away from the center. Lower part of the chest, right and left. Lower lobe, front. Make child to lie on the bed facing upwards by keeping one pillow under the hip and one or two pillows under the legs for elevation. Clap over the lower portion of the ribcage below the nipple region with both hands simultaneously or with a single hand. Lower lobe, right side. By keeping pillows in the same position, make child to be in side lying and clap over the lower portion of the ribcage. Lower lobe, left. Likewise the right side, clap over the lower portion of the ribcage. Lower lobe, back. By keeping pillows in the same position, Make child to lie on the bed facing downwards and clap over the lower portion of the chest simultaneously with both hands or with a single hand.